this video is kindly sponsored by Proven. I am super excited to be working with Proven because I feel like I've been in a skincare rut for the past few months and my skin has been extremely dry lately despite me doing everything in my power to make that not the case. Um, and you, you figure my skin wouldn't be so dry since it's summertime, but my skin's dryness really knows no bounds. <laughs> Proven is a skincare company focused on creating three multifunctional products that do the job of 12, saving you time and money. What makes Proven different is that they have this really awesome skin genome quiz that helps customize a formulation for you. They ask more specific questions than I really thought. I've done like custom quizzes for other products in the past, and I haven't really been impressed with the questions that they've asked, but I really like this quiz because it asks you like, are you looking to get pregnant? What climate you live in? And the formulations are formulated without phthalates, parabens, SLS, and formaldehyde, which I really, really love. For me, what I was looking for as I was filling out this quiz was something that was really going to treat my really, really dry skin. My forehead has been like scaly lately, and I also really wanted something that was going to work towards anti-aging, but I've just had such a hard time finding anti-aging products recently that I kind of needed some help. I feel like I hear so much buzz about retinol, but if you are pregnant or are looking to become pregnant, most people don't recommend using retinol, so I was really looking for something formulated without it, and none of the products that were formulated for me have retinol in them, which I think is really cool. I feel like my skin looks best when I keep things super simple, and I really love that with these three products, I'm getting everything that I need. The cleanser is super hydrating and never leaves my skin feeling stripped. The moisturizer has really blown me away with how luxurious the formulation is. I wake up in the morning and my skin is like dewy still, which never happens to me. See the glow in my skin. And the day moisturizer has really knocked it out of the park too. It has SPF 30 in it and it's a physical sunscreen, which I really, really love. For me, the biggest thing that I've noticed with these products is a difference in my skin's texture and moisture levels, which I feel like is something that's really hard to actually see on screen beyond just the beautiful glow that my skin has. I noticed, I would say, a change in the texture of my skin. Within a day or two, the moisturizer was really, really hydrating, the night moisturizer specifically. And when I woke up in the morning that first day, I was like, wow, uh, my forehead doesn't have that like just tight, scaly feeling that it normally does. And I feel like after a couple of weeks, the overall texture and overall moisture levels, like my skin just felt so balanced. And I feel like I haven't felt that way in a long time. Something else that's really cool about Proven is that your formulation kind of changes as the seasons change too. I'm really excited to see what my formulation looks like in the winter time and how it'll kind of like evolve to suit my skin as time goes on. Uh, and the cool thing is that I don't have to go to a store anymore and like try to search through a ton of different skincare items or uh, remember to stock up when I run out of something. Proven shows up straight to my door. Get $20 off your personalized three-step skincare routine from Proven for a limited time using my code Chandler20. Thanks again to Proven for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is like 1.30 on a Monday and I am finally putting on makeup. I also forgot I had a uh, <laughs> mighty patch on, but I'm gearing up to film a list video, which is part of the reason that I wanted to start this year vlog because I don't think I've ever really like taken you along with me for a day of like more intense filming. Uh, the, a couple of times that I've shown it, I've like kind of time-lapsed over everything in, uh, you know, a vlog and just made it seem so easy breezy. But let me tell you, it's not so easy breezy. It does make me wonder too if like this is the same for everyone who does content like this. Those people who do like these long, drawn out like conspiracy videos like do they have to set up all their lighting and like get everything perfect <laughs> and have like notes done ahead of time like I'm assuming other people have to do this too but it's just such an interesting departure from like my normal content especially this kind of content you know I feel like I can just sit in front of y'all and like talk and we can hang out I don't have to be fancy but for those videos I like to make it fancy so I'll take you uh, along with me for that and then I'll also take you to the domain with Hayden and I if you watched last week's vlog you may or may not know that Hayden and I went to dinner for his birthday and we also went shopping ahead of time sadly I was the one that got stuff and he didn't get anything because we couldn't find anything in his size where we went. Uh, we did order online after the fact, but went to the domain yesterday and tried some stuff on at Viore, which is kind of like a, I would say Lululemon, I don't want to say equivalent, but it's a similar like expensive activewear company. They kind of focus more on like the really soft loungewear pieces. Really like their stuff, would recommend their joggers specifically. But Hayden, when he was trying stuff on, left his AirPods there. And luckily, I guess they found them, but we have to go and pick those up today. So I'll take you along with that with us too. Not necessarily like inside the store to pick up the AirPods, but we might do some shopping and or like hanging out while we are out and about. But yeah, today's interesting. I have had a fairly busy work day. I also started my day bright and early at 8 a.m. with Pilates, which was like a great way to start. It's kind of interesting. I went to my first Monday 8 a.m. Pilates last week and it was actually a different instructor. She was like subbing in for the instructor that normally does this class. And so I finally got to meet the real instructor or the instructor for this class today. <laughs> it was like kind of tough and she was doing a lot of like corrections uh, for me specifically, like, hey, you're doing this wrong, which can always feel a little bit like disheartening, I guess, and make you feel a little bit self 
self-conscious in the moment like i felt myself having those thoughts and i was like you know what she's just trying to help and i like that i'm trying to like get more in the mindset of like not taking it as you know you're doing it wrong like criticism but more like you're doing it wrong i want to help you do it correctly you know like let's get you to a place where you're doing all these exercises correctly so anyway it was a good time it was hard but it was a good time and i'm glad that i did that so i started again my day bright and early with pilates and then i got home and immediately started working so i didn't have any time to put on my makeup or do my hair for today but i did know that i had like a gap of time between some meetings that i could sit down and film some videos and i know that everybody's you know work experiences are different i do get questions on do you have a job and if you do have a job how are you able to like have a youtube channel on top of that or like how do you do stuff during a work day and i am lucky that I work from home. I am lucky that I have a lot of flexibility in my schedule and in my day. But if I specifically don't have any meetings or like any like work related tasks to do, I try to fill that time productively. Honestly, working from home has been such a game changer for me because obviously when I was going into an office when I first started my channel, like I wasn't able to do the stuff that I do now. Like I wasn't able to film during the middle of the day. And I like now that I, you know, when I do have downtime, I'm able to. Because like if you're in a typical office setting job, there is a fair amount of downtime for I would say most jobs. And so to be able to kind of utilize that time for other things has been been really really nice so I have two hours where I have nothing to do and I don't want to say nothing I'm sure I could like find things to fill that time but specifically going to be filming during that time that is like what I have allotted I'd set up my lighting already upstairs by Hayden to help me pull out some of my lights out of the guest room closet and everything is like set up up there I'm charging my camera battery for this camera specifically and I am going to film my list video it is the video where I read I didn't even read the 40 books I only had to read like five or six books for this video but I think like the Goodreads list is something like these are the most popular books read this year for the Goodreads reading challenge. You know how you like set that number, you know, like your, your goal. What books are the most popular that have been used towards that goal this year? Those are the books that I'm going to be reviewing and ranting about mostly in this video. And I just finished typing up my notes today. I feel like it's going to be a good one. It's not like the juiciest thing ever, but I do have some good zingers in there that I feel like are worth worth a watch. And if you're watching this, I think this video is coming out almost two weeks after <laughs> that video is getting posted. So like you will hopefully have already seen that before um, you see this vlog. But yeah, a lot of prep work goes into my list videos, obviously from the reading, but also the note taking. And I always underestimate how long the note taking actually takes. I think I have 13 plus pages of notes for this video. I, I write myself usually like a little paragraph uh, to kind of help guide me when I'm talking about the books. It's honestly like hard. I, I feel like I need to next time I do a list video, like sit down and actually record how long it takes me start to finish to do these things. I normally do them in like bursts. I don't sit down and just like write notes for, for 10 hours at a time, but it does normally take me like quite a while. I'm mean, gonna just like never uh, actually anticipate it. So I'm filming this a day later than I actually expected just because, you know, the notes took me so freaking long. It also kind of was a detriment to me and my like pre-filming process was I broke my laptop and actually I didn't break it. He broke it. Ash has been sitting in my feet if you haven't heard him purring. I'm always really cautious with my cats and like what they have access to but sometimes things just can't be avoided and I was not quick enough to catch him chomping on the side of my laptop screen on Friday. So my laptop's been a little bit glitchy since then. It's weird because he didn't bite into the actual LCD part of my screen but it's affecting things. Basically my screen keeps going black and uh, that makes things challenging. The, the good news, the lucky thing is that I also have a monitor upstairs that I'm able to connect my laptop to. It also just makes it a little more challenging because I have to stay upstairs at all times at this point if I want to get anything done. I do like being in my office. It's kind of forcing me to like not be in bed. I would also, you know, like to be able to use this desk over here and sadly I just can't. It was kind of time for me to upgrade anyway, sort of. I mean, my laptop's still great, but uh, filming in 4K and like trying to edit on my Air has been kind of challenging. I did end up uh, purchasing myself a new laptop which I'm actually really looking forward to but that won't be here for a while so I'm like trying to <laughs> figure out a way to manage and it has made uh, typing notes challenging. I almost always type my notes in bed and I couldn't really do that this time. I'm feeling good actually. Normally I feel like leading up to a list video it's like the time right before I have to actually sit down and film. I'm kind of in a bad mood. <laughs> like I just don't look forward to it and then once I get in the groove and I'm filming it's like fine but I'm actually like in high spirits. I really think part of that is the Pilates. Like it really has been um, a nice mindset changer and you know someone pointed out recently on a video like in the comment section of a video that uh, Pilates is really great because it is low impact especially for PCOS and you're so right. I'm actually very grateful for that. That's also why I am not starting up weightlifting again. I kind of don't want to chance any changes in my cycle. I feel like my impact exercise can kind of affect the length and the duration of my cycle. And since I am trying to do a round of IVF next month, like I really 
I can't afford to have my cycle get messed up. And I think Pilates will keep things nice. One day update for you. A week ahead, I'm trying to think of like exciting things. I do have a therapy appointment on Wednesday, which should be good. I haven't been to therapy in a while and I'm actually excited to uh, talk to someone about <laughs> IVF, someone that's like not uh, my family or friends, um, get like their perspective and like maybe tips to like work through some of the anxiety I've ex been experiencing lately. Like I am actually really looking forward to that. I think my sister and I are also gonna go to Fredericksburg this weekend, which should be fun. Plus she said that she could maybe come on Wednesday to take merch picks. So like, I think it's gonna be a good week. At the beginning of the week, I really didn't have anything planned. I thought this was going to be another like kind of wacky week, like last week that just really didn't have uh, much rhyme or reason. But I think this vlog's going to be exciting. You know, no promises, but I do think it's gonna be a good one. In terms of reading, I really don't know what I'm going to be reading this week. I did actually just sit down and redo some of the work that I had done for my uh, Chanmas content. I honestly didn't really wanna do any daily vlogging for Chanmas. I was like, I'm gonna stick with the weekly vlogs like I've been doing like this. Then I'm just going to do a bunch of plant content around it. And like, realistically, I just don't think that's gonna happen. It was like stressing me out. I think I told y'all that last week, honestly, that like, I just felt overwhelmed by all the stuff that I needed to read and get planned in advance. I think that reworking things and trying to, I guess, mimic canvas of years past is probably a better idea. So I'm basically going to be alternating daily vlogs and planned content in the month of December. So like uh, one daily vlog and then one like book recommendations video and then another daily vlog and then another like secret TBR video or something like that. <laughs> Doing that I think is definitely like a better recipe for success for me. And so yeah, I sat down and did that and now I don't have as much to do ahead of time. So like, I don't even know what books I need to be like going forward. Like I, I feel like I have so much less to do. I'm grateful for that, but it's like, where do I go from here? I think I'm going to start reading for a KU video that I have for next week. And then I, I have so many options and opportunities for this year vlog, you know, like I can actually read in these reading vlogs. So I don't know what I want to read. Honestly, y'all, I'm very much in a romance and fantasy mood. I feel like last week I wanted to read thrillers and then just didn't actually follow through on it. So I think this week I really want to, I don't want to say follow through on my cravings, but sort of like I want to actually read what I want to read. What that'll be, I really have no idea, but I've been babbling long enough. I am going to go ahead and <laughs> go and film that video and I'll report back on how it went uh, and we can go to the mall with Hayden. Hello friends. It's Monday night. The lighting's yellow. It is what it is. We're in my office. I've been editing this list video <laughs> for the past like hour or so um, since feeding the cats. I feel like I've done a lot since we last talked. I told you that I was going to like talk to you during dinner time. Did I tell you that? I think I implied it. It didn't happen because I ate McDonald's. So I ended up filming the list video. It actually went pretty well. Unfortunately, my camera, the one I'm filming on right now, overheats if I film clips over like 20 to 30 minutes long. But like this camera's great for vlogging. It's not so great for sit down videos. So I had to like pause filming a lot. Honestly, probably for the best for both my, my throat, <laughs> my voice, and also how fucking hot it gets in this uh, office with the lights on. I still have all of my lights kind of set up behind me because I'm unsure if I'm going to have to like refilm the sponsorship spot for this uh, video. Mostly because I've never worked to the sponsor before. Fingers crossed I don't, but like don't have to <laughs> refilm. But got that done probably around six and then Hayden and I went to the domain. We went yesterday. We went again today so we could pick up his AirPods. And while we were out, I got McDonald's, which was just what the doctor ordered, honestly. Like I needed that Coke to revive me. I needed some salty fries, the electrolytes, frankly. Um, and it was quite good. <laughs> Uh, I didn't film in the car though because it was like getting dark and it just kind of sunk in that like the sun's setting earlier now and that means that maybe eventually one day it won't be a million degrees outside. A day is not today sadly, maybe one day. <laughs> the editing for the video is going well. I'm just so tired. I feel like it's sort of a double-edged sword whenever I film these list videos. Like on the one hand, I usually feel very, I was gonna say triumphant. Euphoric maybe is more the word I'm looking for. Like I just feel a, a sense of relief when I'm done. I'm always like, oh, it'd be so nice to get this video like edited and done and it's, it's not getting done tonight. It's just simply not. I got like, 14 minutes into this so far hour and a half long video. It should be much shorter than that once it's done being edited, but take me a while to get through this. And I'm hoping to do that tomorrow, mostly. Um, like I was saying earlier, like I feel like I'm in a weird place. I'm like both in a really good mood because I can read whatever I want and do whatever I want. I'll do my oyster. What do I do? So um, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna finish like editing and then uh, just figure out what to read. I'm probably gonna read something tonight. I don't know what. I'm definitely feeling a little bold and zesty. Just wanted to pop in though because I think I told you all that I would like take you along for the ride. Um, but I feel like I kind of have today, maybe a little bit. I didn't really show you my filming setup, but like y'all have seen it before. I just set up like lights, like cheap artificial lighting that I got get off of Amazon. Filmed to my heart's content. It went pretty, it went pretty well. I'm pretty, pretty pleased. I wouldn't say it was like my best zingers, but like there were some good one-liners in there, so. Maybe tomorrow I will edit and like time myself so I can tell you how long it actually took. But anyway, I'm gonna mosey downstairs and take my makeup off. Y'all, I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> Hello friends. From me and my special shorts. That's what I've been calling these. Got these of Yori. 
and you can't tell on camera, but these are the softest shorts that I've worn in a very long time. Oh, there's a gentleman oh, there's coming there's a man out. in here. There's a man. I wonder what this place is. Um, we ate dinner in a parking lot. What would you call this? We like do this sometimes. It's like a weird business kind of park, like business yeah, center. Business center. There's it's like, a bunch of like small like one story buildings that will have just like one or two businesses inside of it, but none of them actually have a sign as to like. Okay, I say no. Some, some of them, them do. do. This place just the one that we parked in front of does not, not say, say what that, it is, yeah. and there's no one ever parked here. It's shady, so we parked here. And we've been here for I don't know, maybe the last thirty minutes or so, and now suddenly a man is a wild man walking appears. around inside and looking like he's about to leave. I think he's wondering when we're gonna leave and that's fair. I mean I will leave as soon as he turns off all the lights, leaves, gets in his car, and then I can go inside and steal all their shit. I don't even think there's anything worth stealing. He doesn't seem to be super pleased that we're here. He's talking curiously he's, on his phone. He's calling security. Yeah I'm sure there's a lot of security here. Anyway yeah. I just wanted to pop in and say hey I don't really have anything like of note. We're about to go get ice cream. Mm -hmm. In my mind ice cream kind of ceased to exist when it gets cold and you know it'll get cold eventually in Texas so I gotta get the ice cream while the getting's good. I think that you need to just adjust your thinking because... Which is so funny coming from the guy who will not eat soup in the summertime. Yeah it's different. It's not different at all. I'll eat, Hayden I'll is eat ice very, cream when it's cold he is, but... He very much bitches about like the temperature of food. No we, it's we just can't soup. Have, we can't have soup in the summer. It's just soup in the summer. No one wants soup in the summer. When it's hot outside. Who is like oh you know what would be really great after I've been sweating all day? Hayden we're not sweating. We have AC. I am. I'm sorry Sorry that your computer off puts so much heat like that's well, not it's, my fault. It's also two dogs okay. and it's also the fact that really that any of it off puts that much heat is the fact that my office door has to be closed all day. Okay well because I talk excuses, too loud excuses. for you. Excuses. All I'm saying. I talk too loud for you. All I'm saying is I sweat really for you. I sweat for you. Thank me for my service. I keep saying this in different <laughs> contexts. I'll start serving myself more than speaking of um serving. Yeah, when are you going to read Throne of Glass for us? Uh, whenever I feel like for it. For the people. At this point, especially because, you know, it turns out I haven't been serving anyone. I might as well serve myself, and maybe I'll get to it next year, you know? Yeah, we all, he really doesn't like us. He doesn't like the DBBC. He's just like a hater all around. Ha it's, it's, just not, like, it's not Hayden, it's hater. It's, it's time for, like, me time, you know? Yeah? What's me time for Hayden? New year, new me. Just video games. Just like, I'm, you know, I'm taking care of myself. Oh, yeah. He actually is. You know what? I'm proud of this man. And he has been uh, taking the dogs on walks every morning, even though it's hot as fuck outside. And he goes to the gym afterwards. So mm -hmm. look at that. I mean, I haven't been doing those things. I've been walking without a shirt on too, because I'm trying to be like not the color <laughs> of these seats. So an admirable goal. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna be on the on the vlog in like a week, just like golden. And by that I mean probably lobster red, because he doesn't really tan. He just burns. Back. Well, am I lobster red so far? Not yet. Exactly. <laughs> He isn't he isn't going outside for very long. That's why I've been okay with him. A cat hair. Oh yeah, I've been seeing it float all Yeah, but around. it like flew directly into my mouth when uh -huh. I was talking. Yeah. I watched it happen. It was great. Okay, well I guess I'll just eat it. Can't mind it. <laughs> um, I did finish editing my video today and literally like half an hour before I was done. I got a message from my manager at my management um, company. Is yes, what I would have said. That, yeah, I can't think of the word today. My brain scrambled because I've been editing this fucking video all day. Um, <laughs> she told me that she's leaving, and and I don't think it's like a two weeks notice. Like I think she's gone. That's kind of not great for me because I was trying to get this video done this week. It gave me like a couple of contacts at the company, so like hopefully they can hook me up with some, a new manager soon. I don't know, y'all. I'm like a little bit panicked. I also like need to call my like medical insurance. I have like just a lot of unfun things I need to do with like administrative stuff that I have no control over and I don't like that like I like being the captain of my own ship but mm -hmm. maybe I will talk to my therapist tomorrow about that my therapy appointment which you know should be good I feel like I haven't had like an actual therapy appointment the past few appointments I've had with her were like med management back when I was on meds this one's gonna be like a haven't talked to you in a second. Let's talk for 45 minutes about how my life's a mess. How does that make you feel? You know, yeah, that's so true. But you know what is cool is that I want to read books. I think the reason I've been like struggling the past few vlogs to like figure out what books to read is for, like so many different reasons. I don't feel like I need to go into all of them, but the big ones obviously are that like I was trying to do Chanma stuff, which was overwhelming me. And then also I just feel like I have a lot of books I'm excited to read for videos and they're not for this vlog. To like go and do research and figure out what I want to read is sometimes overwhelming, but you know what? Um, I'm gonna like overcome that today because I really want to read a book. Like I want a smutty romance in my life. It pours in my veins. I also want there to not be like 
human hair and cat hair everywhere. You know what? Um, that's my goal today is to we find should, a book. You know what we should do? What? We should both fully shave our heads and fully shave all the cats. And then there'll be no human hair and no cat hair. We can see like what that world is like worming around on the floor like a snake. I was going to tell the people, <laughs> I'll probably update you later tonight. Maybe in, I was going to say a state of undress. That makes it sound so scandalous. Whoa. I was just going to say maybe like in my PJs with no makeup on. I mean, not that I have much makeup on today. Do you ever just like start putting makeup on? I, this probably is not something that many people have dealt with. Me, like makeup is a standard part of my day. So I went to put on makeup today. It's like, all right, let's do this. And I was thinking to myself, I don't think I'm gonna be on camera today. And if I am, it's gonna be this camera, like for the vlog. And like, who cares what I look like for the vlog, you know? So like, why am I slathering shit on my face? So I like kind of give up halfway through. And that's why I look very terrifying and scary. Two thumbs up. All right, I'm gonna go eat some ice cream. Wish me luck. All right, hello friends. I am a mess, but I'm feeding the cats dinner. I'm still trying to figure out what it is that I want to read. It's been the hardest part of tonight. I know, we're going upstairs. I know, it's so hard being Pepper. Okay, <laughs> so dark in here. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what to read. I brought like five different books downstairs with me, all from Bloom Publishing, but I just really don't know. I put on my Instagram story like <laughs> a request for, for help. I like letting y'all decide what it is that I read. Also, I'm terrible at vlogging. I'm a terrible vlogger to like go downstairs and get pepper but i usually carry him with this food also decided that i should do laundry tonight which was not the smartest idea or is it a smart idea my little sister is coming over tomorrow i don't know if i've told y'all that i like desperately need pictures for the merch but i do and i'm trying to make sure that like everything is ready to go for tomorrow i need to like steam the t-shirts and sweatshirts that are already clean but I feel like some of the stuff is still dirty so i am a little bit of late night laundry. <laughs> I've been catching up on the summer I turned pretty and I'm having a good time with it I guess. I got a little bit bored on the episode where they're trying to find a place to stay for the night and they end up staying at the country club. But I finished that episode and now I am moved on to the next one and I'm like kind of intrigued again. I feel like I always get renewed interest in like movies and tv whenever I see a lot of like buzz about it and I feel like I've been saying a lot about this like Jeremiah belly kiss and I feel like I need to be in on that. I feel like I have been in this mood where I want to like really get invested in something. I'm not always in th that kind of mood. I think maybe it's like going off of the antidepressants and feeling a little bit depressed. But like, I just want to sink my teeth into like a really long fantasy series or like a really angsty romance or like a TV show that has a lot of angst to it. I think the problem right now with me trying to find a romance to read is that nothing is really like appealing to me. Like nothing is really jumping out at me is like, oh, this is super angsty. I feel like I've read all the angsty stuff that exists, which is not true, but I feel like I'm just having a hard time. So I am relying on television at the moment to get me through. <laughs> Do you want to read? I think I might start like either Bewitched or Kingmaker. Those are two of the books that I have selected and they have like the highest amount of votes. Someone replied to my Instagram story, I, like pulled people and said specifically, Bewitched is bad, but fun. And honestly, I'm into that. Like I kind of, <laughs> I'm not looking for like high quality. I'm just looking for like feeling, like I want to feel something. Is that too much to ask? Hello friends, happy Wednesday. I am looking very frightening, but for kind of good reason, maybe. It is like two-ish o'clock. I've been running around like wild today, getting stuff done. It's exciting because we're taking merch pics. My sister's coming over at like five, I think, to take pics, which means I need to set up backdrop right here. I need to set up my backdrop stand. Uh, I took it down like a couple of weeks ago because I was like, I haven't used this in months. But of course, um, I need it for <laughs> the pics. My idea basically for the merch pics is that I want, I just like things looking professional. I don't know how professional they'll turn out. I want like really good pictures of like me in a t-shirt in front of the backdrop for like the actual product images. Like when you go and click on the link for a particular item, I want you to see me or Hayden or someone else, <laughs> maybe my sister, in the item so you can kind of get a feel for what it's going to look like and what it's going to feel like, etc. I mean, obviously you can't feel it until you get it, but you, you understand what I'm saying. I just think it looks better than like the rendered images that the merch company creates for me. I also want to get some pictures though in like more casual settings for like marketing material um, and also for the banner for the website. I purchased a domain name, ChandlerAinsleyShop.com, and the platform I'm using to make the merch is called Fourth Wall, and Fourth Wall has like a bunch of different it's like website templates that just direct to your domain, which is super nice. But one of the templates um, has like a banner at the top, and like an image that you can put there. And like the stock image, I guess, is a couple of people in sweatshirts. I thought it looked nice. I think I'm going to try to do some kind of like lifestyle -y pictures of like me, Hayden, maybe the cats, probably indoors. And also because I would honestly kind of like some pics of me and my merch for Instagram. You know, frankly, I just want that. I need to kick him out of here in a second because I do not need them messing with the backdrop. That's kind of the plan of attack. Before that though, definitely another cat in here. I don't know who. Before we take the pics, 
so obviously I have to set up a backdrop like I said. I also need to put makeup on. I've been putting off my makeup because I'm like, I want it to be as fresh as possible for pictures. I also have therapy at four. So hopefully like me putting on makeup prevents me from crying in therapy. Fingers crossed. I have y'all on this cat tree, by the way. And uh, Pepper's up there. He's just being a guy. Um, yeah, look at this place. It's um, basically the dumping ground for everything that we own. <laughs> Uh, the closet in here is particularly bad. I have you at this horrible angle because I didn't want you to have to look at the fan spinning in the background, so you're welcome. I'm gonna time lapse you so you can see me setting up this backdrop and like what goes into, I guess, like setting up <laughs> this sort of thing. This is also kind of similar to the process I use to set up for, um, you know, sit down videos. So let's do it. That's the game that I want to play today, actually, while I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> of course, it's like the only time they're interested in the little like ball toy that we have, like the little ball in the track. That's when I'm doing my makeup. Hello everyone. Happy Thursday. I feel like I didn't get to give you a very good update yesterday on all the things that happened. It was so chaotic. I did show you kind of the setup for the pictures <laughs> that we took for the website. And I have to say like that was, I want to say a highlight of my life, but it was in fact something that I enjoyed doing. And I just am so excited for y'all to like get to see the website. It just looks so good. I uploaded the pictures for each of the product listings and it just... It looks like a real website. It looks semi-professional and I'm like kind of proud of it. I'm like very happy with how everything turned out. So that went pretty well. Although I will say it took up so much time. Pictures, like once we got in the flow of things, my sister and I, uh, it was okay. Like she ended up taking, I think three pictures for each pose. I did like three zoomed in pictures, three slightly farther away pictures. And then we just picked the best ones for the site. And I feel like they turned out pretty well. I feel like um, there's like good variation and you're able to actually see the product. Like the images that they generate on the website are fine for some of the items but some of the items like you just can't tell what the items gonna actually look like when you get it in your hands and so i'm glad that we got to actually take pictures in the garments and show y'all what they look like and yeah overall that was like pretty fun but i was like up until <laughs> 10 30 or 11 like editing the pictures making sure they were like true to life colors um i didn't really do any like retouching or anything <laughs> i told myself i would because the camera quality is like crispy um but i didn't do any retouching i literally just tried to make the images very true to life and i feel like they uh turned out well but it kind of it took a second <laughs> to get the hang of like what everything needed to look like and yeah um, but I think that was a good learning experience and now I know what to do going forward for like other launches I think I've said this before but like I do intend on making my merch line clothing line I don't know whatever we want to call it my shop I do intend to make that like something that I'm frequently updating and adding new things to the classics will probably always remain in this in the shop and there's two lines the classics and then the following 2023 are in there right now intend to do a Christmas line and I do want to do like a more romance specific one you might have noticed that I have been wearing or I have worn in the past a couple of vanity plate t-shirts 
t-shirts. The way that those got printed, I was not super happy with, so I didn't release those into the shop immediately. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna like workshop those a little bit and see what I can do going forward to like, you know, actually release something like that because I love vanity plates. I think that would be fine. Um, and there's just like other romance kind of related shirts I would like to put out eventually. But anyway, that's, that's enough merch talk. I'm pretty sure I'm releasing on Sunday, which will be two weeks before you see this vlog. So, you know, this is like the past, I guess. Spoiler, you see these vlogs like one or two weeks after they are finished. So releasing them on Sunday and you will see this the following Sunday. So what else did I do? Oh, I did have my therapy session. I feel like I don't really have much to share about that. I mean, like therapy is kind of a personal thing, but I'm really glad that I did it. I mean, I needed to do it for like fertility stuff. I had to get like a checklist filled out for <laughs> uh, using donor materials, shall we say. So I'm glad that I got that knocked out, but it was just nice to talk to someone who I want to say is impartial, but who doesn't uh, speak to me with judgment someone who is like trained to say the right thing. I don't know if any of that's making sense, but like I, I think the thing that I struggle with sometimes uh, with infertility, I guess we can up, uh, infertility update here. It's not really that, that bold, but I think the thing that I struggle with sometimes is that I don't have anyone in my life going through this, right? Uh, I'm grateful for that in some ways. Like I'm glad that no one that I know is dealing with this shit because it's not fun. I also feel incredibly alone and, and I have felt very grateful for the advice and the encouragement that has been given to me via like Instagram DMs or comments. That really actually does help me a lot. But it's not the same obviously as having someone close to you personally going through something where you can like really have that open dialogue and open discussion. And I think sometimes even people who are really well-meaning don't say the right thing and that can kind of suck. <laughs> and so I think my instinct, especially lately, has been to just like uh, keep things to myself. And that's not always healthy, especially when I have like emotions that I'm trying to work through. But I also don't really want to unintentionally like invite in um, criticism or commentary on the things that I have chosen to do for my life, my family, my body, you know, even again by like well-meaning people in my life, friends, family, etc. So yeah, I don't know. It, it was just, it was a nice thing to be able to like discuss what I'm going through and we didn't set like a plan in place necessarily for um, like further therapy sessions. It was more like reach out if you want to talk. Obviously my therapist um, is down to, uh, you know, do more therapy sessions with me. Uh, she recommended me a book that I am excited to kind of get into and we kind of talked about meditation slash like, you know, mindfulness practices and stuff uh, since I am not currently medicated and, um, you know, we both have kind of agreed that's like not really the path we want to go on this stage specifically. So can't help but feel grateful, but also just like it pisses me off so much that like all, all of this, all of the things that I'm going through right now are so fucking expensive, right? Like I'm lucky in that like it's not a huge burden and strain for me, but I just can't help but think like, oh, I would love to just be able to recommend therapy or whatever, but I can't. Like, it's so expensive. I can't imagine trying to recommend that to other people. I don't know. Uh, yeah, just something that's been on my mind too. Um, as I like kind of traverse this, it's like, can't even afford to go as often as I would like, but I can't imagine people who just like don't have access to this. It's uh, frustrating. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go on a rant, but it, it is, it pisses me off. Therapy did some product pictures for the site and I am, sir. Sir, that is my eyelash curler. Let's get you down from there. Mm, little peanut. He is purring, if you can't hear that. I'm actually about to head out to grab myself some lunch. It's Hayden's birthday today. It is August 17th. We already celebrated uh, a couple of times. We celebrated on Saturday, which you saw in the last vlog. We also went to Red Ash, um, which was really tasty. And uh, Hayden finally got to eat dessert there. He's never had dessert, even though he always wants to, uh, mostly because we just end up, you know, too stuffed at the end of a meal. We are not doing anything today. He is going to lunch with some friends, which is exciting. We do have some friends in Austin. Um, well, Hayden specifically has like a friend group in Austin. I went to high school with all these people, so like they're my friends too, technically. I am having to fend for myself. It isn't my favorite, but it'll be fine. <laughs> I'll find something good to treat myself to. Also, y'all are stacked up on a pile of books right now because I don't have a tripod near me. And I feel like that is oddly kind of poetic. Like books right now are useful to me. I have not been reading them and I don't like that. I've actually been like really craving books. I think I told y'all a couple of days ago that I really just want to like sit down and read and I pulled a stack of books, the books you're sitting on right now. I was just trying to decide what exactly I was feeling and I never picked anything up. I just watched TV <laughs> and like no regrets. I actually got through all of the episodes that are out for the summer I turned pretty but I just really want to read and you know what I think I might actually listen to a YA fantasy audiobook as recommended to me by Miss Olivia Reed's Latte. Something stupid like these hollow vows would be just what the doctor ordered and I don't mean stupid in like a mean way okay I take that back I rescind that <laughs> I mean stupid in like a nice way and like uh, this is kind of silly and like very just romance based but like I'm kind of in the market for it so that is something that I would like to maybe listen to maybe on my way to get food or when I get back uh, work today it's not not busy that's why I'm like 
uh, scrambling to put makeup on and then go grab lunch and then like come back and do some more work. But I will be reading eventually, hopefully today. I'm trying to think of like the other things that I have going on. Um, I feel like it all is kind of quiet on the like health front, which is nice. Like it's nice to not have to worry about that for like the next at least couple of weeks. But <laughs> I have not edited last week's vlog at all. Normally I have like half of it edited by the time like Monday or Tuesday rolls around. This time I just had not edited any of the vlog in advance. And I'm like scared that I don't have enough footage or that it's just gonna be a bad vlog. I just imported all the footage. Um, it's an hour long, so I don't really know what I was thinking. Um, I don't know that it's good. It's definitely long enough, but I have to edit all of that today too. I mean, I don't have to. I could do it like any day before Sunday, but I really just wanna knock it out so I can enjoy the weekend. We are still going to Fredericksburg on Saturday. I talked to my sister about that yesterday, um, but I'm trying to vibe. Like I'm trying to just <laughs> get everything done so I can vibe and I just like have not been able to this has been such a work heavy week and I'm not not grateful like I'm actually glad that we finished a lot of things that we needed to get done but I'm also just like I need a break I need a break and I need to read books and I would like to cuddle with you in bed that would be so amazing uh, I'm gonna go finish my makeup I'm gonna go get some lunch and I'll report back later hopefully with that vlog done hopefully in bed Hello, friends. Hello. I've already, I've already said t hello today, so I don't need to uh, tell you happy Thursday. No more hellos. Look at the birthday boy. Is he looking um, delectably 29? I am beef drunk. We uh, just got done eating Hop Dottie off of Anderson Mill in Austin. And I point that out. I point the location out because in my humble opinion, it's the best Hop Dottie location. Hits every mm -hmm. fucking time. We have a Hop Dottie near us and it is dog shit. Preach. You know, sometimes you like get a bad, you have a bad experience and you're like, eh, maybe it was just like a one-time thing, but no, it was like- And then you go back. Same with the Torchies over there too. I have bad Torchies too. I mean, I'm not like the biggest Torchies fan of all time. I've had enough Torchies to know in enough Torchies to locations. To discern between good and bad. Exactly. Um, yes, we don't have good for either. But our food was good as fuck. I had a chicken sandwich, he had a burger, <laughs> queso fries, I had a shake, he had a little baby margarita. How much is 12 ounces of beef? Uh, we've talked like... about this. I don't know beef. No, I don't know no, shit about beef. No, 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 no. I'm asking in ounces to pound. Is 16 ounces a pound? I don't fucking know. I don't know shit. I thought it was six ounces. What? Six, six pounds, eight, eight ounces. No, because you can go. No, that's a cup. Eight ounces. Eight ounces is a cup. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's 16 ounces in a pound at 12 ounces. So that's great a beef. Three quarters of cow. Um, it was quite tasty. Also, it might be Hayden's birthday, but I was the one that got a present. That's today. actually big facts. <laughs> no presents for Papa. Here it is. There's also more in the trunk um, because we got suckered into buying more things. Oh yeah, super. Yeah, he really worked hard to convince you. Sometimes a girl needs things. Sometimes it is in a girl's nature to collect. And to what is that even? It is a filter. It's oh, a that's the filter, filter okay, that goes okay, okay. on a lens. And what are you protecting it from? Um, it's getting scratched. So it's like a lens protector. You keep saying filter as if it's like filtering out like harmful light. Sometimes these do filter that too. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a but that's not what that is. Protect protection filter protects the lens. What are you filtering? Okay, this is not a lens cap. This is a clear thing that goes on yeah. your lens. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm more interested in, in the, the naming Fil convention filtering, of this. Filtering out the d dust and dirt and moisture. Well, there's not any dust, dirt, okay, and moisture Okay, anyway, going in. girly pops, I got a lens, and I am so excited because, okay, to make a long motherfucking story short, this camera that we're filming on right now is a camera that I got for photography. It's a Canon R6. I have been watching Caitlyn James, and I, like, have her, like, whole, um, what's it called? Like, Course. courses. I, like, purchased her courses. They're fantastic. If you're, like, trying to get into photography, would recommend. She swears by this lens in particular. I initially bought this lens for like a different camera mount because it was cheaper. I was like, yeah, like that'll work for now. And then I was really thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I think eventually like I am going to buy an R6. So like, I'll just return that lens and I'll buy it one day, you know? And that day is today. I only have like a few lenses for this camera because it has a different lens or like mount type than like a traditional DSLR. And then no one cares about any of this. I'm a geek, okay? So the lens I have on right now, the one I film on, is a 16 millimeter 2.8. The lens that I take pictures on and the lens that I actually used for <laughs> the um, merch pictures is a 28 to 70 2.0. This baby is a, an 85 millimeter 1.2 and she's so fucking pretty. What's the point of this thing? Uh, this is just a lens hood. Um, again, this is what, what it also helps protect it, but I will be taking this off. I'm not a lens hood girly. 
lollipop. Yeah, it definitely looks less sexy, I'll tell you that much. Yes, look at that. Look at that fucking glass. She's a stunner. It was on a mega discount. We went, ended up going into Precision Camera off of Anderson Mill. It's like right next to the Hop Dottie. And um, they had this one used. We just went in for fun. I genuinely was not looking for this lens, but they had it for a really good price, like $800 cheaper than this lens is online. So uh, yeah, it was a must for me. There's like a little bit of like chipping on the outside. I'm also kind of like hard on the outside of my lenses. So I don't, I don't really care about that personally. The two 2.0 28 to 70 is also stunning like I love her so much she's amazing in every way but um having like this and being able to <clears throat> shoot this wide open is quite nice I also um finally upgraded my lighting situation there is someone on YouTube who has like a really great lighting setup y'all saw me set up the lights yesterday Hayden is not what I'm sorry I just, he's I not plugged in something. someone was giving me a happy birthday wish okay and they gave it to me like an hour ago but we were eating and buying a lens for you so i didn't reply really nice. it, it really doesn't matter i was saying yesterday we were setting up those lights and hayden was saying to me do you have not why do you have I've so said many it lights? before yeah i have a lot of lights because... i know i don't even say why do you have so many lights i'm just surprised like you know not to throw any shade but like the lights that you have are just not as quality as i was expecting and not the lights themselves but it's particularly the, the stands. stands yeah whenever you move them none of the stands actually like fully lock mm -hmm. like you'll just keep turning the knob and nothing happens yeah so whenever you pick up the stand the light will always and like just fall over flat that's not the stand that is the light itself oh well then your lights are shit yeah have like changed my lighting over the years i think the first thing i started out with umbrella lights then i got a ring light and only used a ring light then i got these like ad lights i don't even know what they're really called they're like panels they're like little panels i mean they're like pretty small and they weren't very expensive it was like a dupe for an expensive one that someone had recommended on youtube and i was like oh this will work for now it's just very inconvenient and annoying having to like set up all of these lights and someone that i saw online recommended like a particular light like this not massive i mean it's like kind of looks like a big flashlight put it on a stand you put like a, a box on it like a soft box and that's it like that's the only light this person uses to light their videos and it's impressively bright and pretty and i was like if i could just have one light mm -hmm. that would really be awesome and a stand that's a little bit better and a stand too. that's better so we yeah we bought the bought the light and we also bought the stand i'll be curious to see how the light works this is like one that the guy recommended at the store i had one in mind that I was going to buy and he said this one's like basically identical just like a competitor so I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes but overall a productive day for me I mean Hayden had a good day too he had lunch with his friends and yeah like, yeah my day was like yeah, it was all right, all right. You know, I, mean, I mean he I got he I got presents a, I you didn't know. get a camera lens or anything but like it was yeah it was an okay day I guess it was like kind of average you know it's mid your short should be coming soon I'm trying to think of like other not days. today though well, no, I'm just kidding. You got me mini cakes, and honestly, I that's, did get that's the cakes. sweetest gift of all. Is that honestly, I kind of feel that way too. Like, anything. Is that you stopped to get me I mini did. cakes, and I didn't ask for them? And I know. well, he had been talking about them recently, so I decided I would give him a little yeah. treat. Little treaty. Yeah, I actually think those are the best gifts. Like, sure, I like when money is spent on me, but I care more about like the thought like if i mentioned something in passing and you like hook it up i mm -hmm. like that or he actually did surprise me for the first time i think ever in our relationship and that was really nice i finally I like started to catch on to what acceptable to get you jewelry wise it's not that hard i sent you the link no to, it like, is it is hard it's still hard because hard there are so many guess. times where i'm like oh so you wouldn't like this and you're like oh no i would like that and then sometimes but all of these are just me trying to sure, gauge right sure, i'm sure. just trying to get yeah. put feelers out and then other times where i'm like oh so you would like something like this and you're like eh, that's like not really for me and so i am a little bit i'm still okay still sorting through it you're not as easy as you would think if you even thought yeah. that you were yeah that's easy fair. in the first place but you're definitely not so well i mean you, you, did, you did a bang up though. i know that, but that's because job. i'm a genius okay well that's what i'm saying i think you i think you've got it and you nailed it so i think you can nail it going forward and i mentioned something today that i might want oh my god the burger like immediately <laughs> oh immediately. yeah it took me arteries out. clogged honestly if that happened today i'd be fine yeah i mean you've lived all, like 29 whole years yeah and like oh. to go out on a banger like today that's true. You got a new lens to keep you happy. You know, you like won't even. Yeah, be that, that would sad definitely. About it. Yeah, like I don't need a husband. I just need a camera lens. Yeah, sure. you yeah. numb the pain. <laughs> An economic proposition. I've been talking for ten minutes, and I'm ready to go home and. Reload. I'm trying to eat oh, a mini cake. I was going to say I started Divine Rivals today because I want to be that girl. You know, that girl that reads YA. Just kidding. I literally just went off on like how I'm an old hag and like don't really like YA. 
that much first anymore. Part's true. Yes, exactly. I <laughs> I did that in a, in the list video that I filmed that I would love to fucking get live someday, maybe if it will ever happen. Now I'm like, oh, but there's some live books that kind of excite me. Here's the thing. Here's what I think I'm looking for. I think I'm looking for slow burn. I'm not necessarily looking for PNV action. So like why a uh, fantasy with some like since when? Since I mean, real life's different than books. Let's just say it, like let's just say that. No, I'm talking about particularly in books. I know real life's different <laughs> from a book. <laughs> going to say that sometimes, at least lately, I have been looking for the longing and a little less for the long dicking. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. just a little bit, a little bit more romance. And I've heard Divine Rivals is romantic. I think it's like rivals to lovers, and I like that. So you know, wish me luck. Everybody's been raving about it. It's got like over four stars on Goodreads. It was on Ku, which I like to see. I will be reading that tonight uh, while Hayden hangs out with the dogs, and then you might watch a movie, right? Yeah. I don't know what. I was thinking, uh, do you want to maybe watch Raiders of the Lost Ark? We are talking about watching Indiana Jones recently. You know what? I'm down for that. And it just seemed kind of like fun, you know, and yeah. like low stakes and... Yeah, adventure. I like that, that, that song, that music. Yeah. Bangers. Sing us out, Hayden. Hello friends, happy Friday. No, I don't want to say I don't have a reason to talk to you. I definitely do. I don't have any reading updates for you because did I read last night? Why well, didn't I hung out with my husband? And you know what? I actually feel really good about that. I just wanted to pop in because I am so excited and I just feel this sense of like relief and refreshment. So the big thing is that Hayden and I were talking yesterday. We have kind of decided that he is going to become a part of my team officially. He is going to start editing my videos, which I am so excited. <laughs> excited about. This past year has been such an interesting one. I feel like I have not been able to kind of output the same amount of content that I have in past years and I feel like I've really been beating myself up about that and just like not feeling good about the stuff that I'm putting out. It's not like I hate the content I'm making obviously. I've really enjoyed the vlog specifically but I think just like this perfect storm of life circumstances and also like the kind of content I want to put out has meant that videos take longer to edit and they take longer to put out than they have in the past plus I have Patreon and I would not trade Patreon for the world. I absolutely love it. I love like having just this community of people who have such similar taste in books and not even like the most similar taste in books. I feel like I'm constantly getting um, unique and interesting recommendations from my patrons, but it's just such a fun community. I wouldn't trade that for anything, but I feel like it has meant that my content has just been not bad, but I feel like I have not been able to produce the same quality of stuff that I have in the past and it's just been weighing on me. I feel like I have maybe expressed that in videos before, maybe not. I feel a little overwhelmed and that is something that I have expressed to Hayden over the past like year or so off and on, especially like with all the other life stuff that's happening with IVF and with my life just becoming fuller and I, th I definitely think I've said that before that like I wouldn't trade it for anything I'm excited and glad that like I finally have stuff to talk about in my life and like I have a reason to make lifestyle content but at the same time I feel like it's meant that like my bookish content has taken more of a backseat and that's not really what I want for myself I mean I don't want any of my content to take a backseat frankly but I've just been feeling like failure in some regards and we had to have this talk yesterday and I never want to like ask for help you know like that's just not really in my nature I will definitely ask for help like around the house and stuff but when it comes to, you know, my business, I feel like I just have not been asking for help. And it's something that's been on my mind a little bit. I just haven't known where to look because I'm obviously a little bit of a control freak and a little bit of a perfectionist. And the idea of like letting someone else edit videos or like do my thumbnails or do anything has just been just not really something that I'm interested in. Until recently, I just like, you know, kind of randomly had the idea because I'm getting a new laptop because my old laptop is kind of out of commission. If I get my old laptop fixed, be a cool idea to have Hayden help edit videos. And when I raised the question to him. Um, I was like, absolutely no pressure. This is something that I literally just randomly thought of. And you've, you know, kind of like expressed in the past interest in video and um, in picture. Uh, so, you know, just wondering like if you uh, might want to help and obviously say no if you don't want to. But no, he was like, oh, that actually sounds fun. Like I love that I would be able to help you out and take some stuff off your plate and also, you know, gain skills that I can maybe use in the future. Because that's a thing too. Like he has said in the past, like, oh, you know, maybe it would be fun to make a YouTube channel, but I just like don't have the experience. Um, and so this would maybe give him experience if he does in the future like want to do a channel or something like that but I'm just so excited at the prospect y'all. I still want to have control over my videos and my content but the idea of having someone do like preliminary edits the amount of time that that would save me is just immeasurable and I think that's something that y'all have seen this week is that editing just takes up so much of my time like I spent an entire day on Tuesday editing one singular video and um that's fun and all and I actually like editing videos but I think at this point it's just taking too much of my time and I'd be able to put out better and and hopefully more high quality content if I had someone helping me. You know, Hayden has my same sense of humor. He like knows for the most part how I make my videos. He doesn't watch all of them, but like he kind of, he kind of has an understanding of things. So I would, you know, take some time to train him up 
happen. Yeah, he's gonna help me. I hired an editor. <laughs> we'll be really curious to see how it goes and I'll definitely keep y'all updated. Um, there's definitely some like hoops we have to jump through before that happens, mainly like getting that computer repaired. Today is Friday. I'm supposed to be getting my new laptop on Monday and I need to make sure that I transfer all of my data over beforehand. Like I can't be without a laptop for any length of time. So once I get my new laptop and transfer everything over, I'm going to take my old laptop to old Genius Bar and get them to replace the screen. And I don't know how long that'll take, maybe like a week or so. Um, and then hopefully we will be in business up and running. I probably will actually start training Hayden like today or tomorrow and just kind of like start getting him kind of accustomed to things. It's not hard. Like I don't think that Final Cut is very challenging, especially in the way that I use it. Let's be honest, like my videos are not that fancy, but show him like how much goes into cutting out all the ums and likes. Uh, and y'all already get a fair amount of ums and likes in these here videos, but imagine if I didn't cut out some of the ums and likes, it would be, it would be a little bit nuts. Also, you have nuts, I've got some peanuts in here. There's peanut over there and there's a peanut right here. They're always on my feet. <laughs> I am just so fucking overjoyed. Like I'm so hyped at this prospect. Yesterday was just such a good day, like all around. Um, I mean, it was Hayden's birthday, but like I had a good day too, which, you know, love to see. We were actually just talking about that, how sometimes it's better <laughs> when you have a birthday partner to have a really good day too. Like just thinking about from like my perspective, um, like if it were my birthday, I love the idea of like Hayden treating himself to something nice. Like that would make me happy and he's the same way. So um, I had a good day and he he had a good day. I'm just thrilled. I am doing my makeup because I, I don't have like a busy day ahead of me necessarily, but I do have things that I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be on camera. So I would like to, you know, not look like a scary, scary ghost goblin. Uh, I have Pilates at three and then I have sprints at five. So most of the things that I have to do are like later in the day. It's like noon if I didn't already say that. I think my game plan is to do some reading before I go to Pilates at three. I would really like to um, get farther into Divine Rivals because I did start that and I do really, like I'm having a good time with it so far. I think the vibes are definitely what I'm looking for at this juncture, but I also need to start in on a Kindle Unlimited video. I was unsure, honestly, if I was going to start that one this week. It's supposed to go live next Wednesday. The sponsor of that video is pretty strict on when the video goes live, so I need to make sure that like get that done, but I wasn't sure if that was actually going to happen or not because again, I got new management over the past week and I'm like, what's going on? Like, I just really, <laughs> I just didn't know for a second if like, you know, we were trying to get videos live still or if we were just trying to like regroup, recuperate, but it seems like we're still on and I got all of the things that I need in advance of filming the, the sponsorship spot. Reference, I think I've talked at length at this point about what sponsorships are like. Normally when you do sponsorships with companies, they do is they send you a brief on the product or the um, service or whatever. And that is what you kind of work off of whenever you are talking about the, the product or item in a video. Just some like touch points that they want you to touch on, obviously in your own words, like 99% of the time, but they usually give you a brief. That is what you work off of. And then they normally give you like a link or a QR code to either include in the video or in the description box and um, have to have all of those things together before you film the sponsorship spot. Otherwise, like you have to go back and edit things. So I always try to make sure that I have everything ready to go ahead of time. I didn't have everything to go ahead of time for this one, but I got all that I needed from my new manager today, which was really, really nice and really helpful. So that means KU video is going to be going live next Wednesday, which means it needs to be ready to go by Monday, which means I need to start reading now. It's only a three book video. Like my KU videos are not anything wild or um, complex. I need to make sure that that is <laughs> good to go. Also, this blush is so freaking pretty. I am so into this. I think I talked about this in the last video. It's the e.l.f. blush in Rose Usle. She is so cute. Or is it Rose Usle? You know what? That's probably what it is. Yeah. Rose is like, <laughs> wait, I wish y'all could see the way that he looks at me down there. He's like, his like little, his little doe eyes are looking up at mommy and um, he's just the sweetest boy ever. Did pee on my comforter yesterday, which was not my favorite, I will say. It's not uncommon for cats to smell the duck feathers in a down insert and like mark their territory. I don't know, I really don't know, but hopefully that was just a one-time thing. Um, I know that he does not have a bladder infection, so yeah, I don't really know what that was all about, but I'm currently in the process of <laughs> washing and drying all of that stuff. I'll be back when I have read something because I feel like this vlog is just me talking about shit, um, which, you know, I guess that's every vlog, but. I want to give you some substance. Yeah? You like the makeup brush? All right. Hello, y'all. Happy Saturday. I feel like we are getting a lot of noise over here from a Stanley Cup, but I am en route to Fredericksburg. I found my suction cup, like windshield mount tripod thing. This is a tripod if it's like not actually tri, it's just like a single single pod mounted to the windshield. I don't know, but uh, we're in route. I'm super excited. I love the like back roads that I have to take to get to Fredericksburg from my house, uh, but I am meeting my little sister in town and we are going to do some antiquing. I think I told y'all at the beginning of the week that we were doing this. 
Um, I didn't really know what the game plan was, but it's like 1245. Hopefully I'll get there around two and I think we're going to do some antiquing, do some like general shopping. I don't know if y'all have ever been to Fredericksburg. It is a charming little German settled town in, in Texas Hill Country. Tons of like wineries, tons of antiquing. I've been a couple of times and I feel like I've taken you once or twice with me. Um, I normally go either by myself or with Hayden, but I wanted to show my little sister Fredericksburg today. And she is like on the hunt for some artwork, I think, for above her couch. She just moved into her first apartment, which is super exciting. She just wants to make the space a little bit more complete and a little bit more unique, which, you know, shout out to her. I feel like I did not have that sort of foresight or like interest when I first moved into like an apartment. I feel like I just went to Target and bought as much shit as I could to like fill it up and make it feel homey. And then for me, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. I think I want some like household goodies mostly. And obviously a brand is going to be in the house, but I mean, I'm not looking for art and I'm not looking for furniture. I really want some just like general kind of like tabletop decor pieces, things that make the space feel a little bit more, again, unique to me and a little bit more homey. So I kind of want to look at vintage jewelry. I definitely don't need anything, but I got the jewelry itch again recently when I went to the domain and was looking at stuff from Majuri. Majuri has such pretty stuff. It's a little overpriced for what it is, but I, y'all know I have a jewelry problem. Like I have a jewelry bug. So I think I want some like earrings. Speaking of like other jewelry brands that like make me want to buy more jewelry, Ana Luisa earrings that I'm wearing today, not sponsored obviously, love these. And I guess I didn't realize like how much I like kind of chunky jewelry. I've always loved dainty jewelry, but I think I want some like chunkier pieces in my collection. I want some stuff that feels a little bit more unique. I mean, I do have unique jewelry pieces to me. A, a fair amount of my jewelry is vintage, but I do think I want some like cool, like chunky rings or um, some chunky earrings and I know that I can find that in Fredericksburg. Um, sadly, we're not going to trade days today. That's like one of the most popular things that people do when they're in Fredericksburg um, or it's like one of their biggest events, I guess. It happens every third weekend. I just like don't know if I want to go back this time because it's so fucking hot outside and I am 90% sure that it's not air conditioned. So I don't know. We'll see if that ends up happening. But like my tentative plan right now is to hit the antique store that I really like the antique mall first and then go and just kind of like go down Main Street in Fredericksburg and look at the, what, the what's there. They do have some jewelry shops there too, but I think it's like mostly like sterling and stuff, which is fine, but I really want some 14 karat gold. So hopefully like update you when I get there. Um, I'm always like very awkward. So I did bring my tiny camera, this one, in case I want to do any like, you know, talking vlogging uh, with my sister, but I'm probably just gonna film some B-roll for y'all on my phone. And then when I get back, I will do sort of a haul for you because you know, I mean, I don't think I'm not going to buy anything. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shit up When it clicked on the trot over In the bright We brushed and we braided dandelions and chewed It was a mutual arrangement we both saw into But can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Hello my friends, happy Sunday. It is like 2.30 and I feel like I'm so behind. I did get stuff done that I needed to get done. I like filmed a kind of merch update or like here's my merch sort of clip for the last vlog, the vlog that I just uploaded. I edited that video, I uploaded the video, made the thumbnail, etc. which took a long time. It always takes a long time. And then I had some lunch and now I am trying to decide what I'm going to do next because obviously I would like to vlog for this vlog but I do have reading to do for the KU vlog that I need to have done by tomorrow and haven't started. So brilliant. I'm also just like surrounded by boxes and stuff. Um, it is, it's a mess in here. It's a mess and it's kind of stressing me out. Not exactly thriving, but I told you I would update you and kind of let you know what I got at the antique malls and like what I got in Fredericksburg. Uh, so my sister and I had a really good time actually. We spent most of the day there, came back at like four or five and um, I got a needlepoint of Texas. I feel like I've seen this a couple of times at the antique mall that I go to in Fredericksburg, but I 
always pass on it because it's a little expensive and the price didn't come down or anything but I am a sucker and bought it and then I also bought this cute little cat figurine that just reminded me of Bash and honestly like I kind of like the kitschiness of it I feel like I want I don't want to say I want to be someone who's kitschy but like I like shit like this you know and I think I want more personal items in my home beyond just like stuff that I get from Target you know what I mean I was happy with those two purchases and then this is not an antique I was really wanting to shop for some vintage jewelry and I didn't find any <laughs> that I was like really into so we popped into James Avery which is like a Texas based company I believe it's like mostly sterling silver jewelry but they do some gold and I bought a ring I treated myself to a little ring I thought it was cute um it is this right here I don't know if this will focus yeah it's this lover's knot ring it's like half sterling silver half gold and it's not soldered in the back so like it kind of moves around a little bit which is kind of fun um I feel like it looks good with my other rings I don't know I, for some reason that trip like reignited my passion for jewelry again I mean I still wear jewelry every day for the most part I haven't been wearing rings as regularly mostly because it's so hot my fingers have been really swollen and I can't fit some of my rings I was just like I, I think I think I'm back in my ring era I've got all my favorites on today and I just I think there's something kind of special about having jewelry that is meaningful not all of these pieces are meaningful but most of them are we've got this ring was for my parents this is my like friendship ring with my sister or like you know sister's ring this is to commemorate nugget it's got nine blue stones same color as his eyes for the nine years that he was in my life this ring kind of just looks like what I think Bella's ring from Twilight should have looked like I got that one on Etsy a while ago and then the lover's knot ring that's what this is called the lover's knot and then my pinky ring which I got it was like my first big girl like jewelry purchase I guess and, and I got that when I first started my big girl job like my first job ever out of college so I will say too that trip kind of got me um, thinking about charm bracelets and is there a way to make charm bracelets like cool and not not chuggy. I have a charm bracelet that I have had since birth basically and has a bunch of sterling silver charms on it. It doesn't really fit me because it's a child's bracelet I'm pretty sure but what if I like upgraded that to like a bracelet that actually fits? Got some gold charms to mix with the sterling. Ooh kind of like that idea. Just spit, spitball in here. I've been like looking at charms all day and trying to like not not do it. They're, they're running a deal right now which is like two charms and then you get the bracelet free. It's like do I need that? No but I want it. I just love laughing and loving. I need to read for this KU vlog though. It's like it's definitely a thing. You know what we can talk about divine rivals real quick though. Let's do that because I have gotten like 20% 25% into this book. I a good time with it. It's about a guy named Roman and a girl named Iris I believe. It's such a weird concept. Not like maybe not a weird concept. A weird execution. It kind of feels like you're in the midst of like World War II but if it was about gods and not Nazis. Iris and Roman are like rivals at this newspaper. They're both trying to get like full-time jobs there. They're both I believe like 18, 19. He went to a really good school. She dropped out of school. He's living with her alcoholic mother because her brother is like at war and her mom is like kind of I don't know going through it mentally and then he lives with his parents who are like kind of uptight and kind of new money. Like they want to be more well respected in society and this is all amongst the backdrop of war. There's like ancient gods at war and they're enlisting the help of like I guess mortals to fight in this war and we're learning more about the immortals, the gods, as the story goes on. That's like part of Roman, Iris, they're kind of like butting heads because they're competing for the same job and then there's also the situation where Iris is writing letters to her brother and like putting them in the wardrobe or whatever. And it's like some magical wardrobe takes the letters to Roman and not where it's supposed to actually belong. So there's kind of like magic in this world too and I think that what's gonna happen is they're gonna write letters back and forth, fall in love, but like in real life they can't be together because a lot of situations, I don't know, I'm having a good time with it. I like the setting but again it feels, it, it feels like very, very strange because it feels sort of true to life like it definitely has you know there's like cigarettes and there's like whatever but there's also typewriters so it's not super modern technology it's an interesting an interesting book i am going to go i really need to read these ku books y'all like it's it's bad i also really need to clean my house maybe i'll do that between the ku stuff but i will keep you posted i do i, I do want to read more of this book and i do want to like hang out with y'all because i feel like this vlog actually has been kind of fun but you know there's more to share you know what's frustrating is how many fucking trucks pass by my goddamn window every day interrupting my filming it's like do they not know chandler ainsley lives here no they don't we should we should put a sign in the yard <laughs> yeah. youtuber lives here i am here to close out the vlog hayden and i actually like filmed a clip but for some reason the audio is like so bad and not like in a listenable way sadly it's it's like a wow this is horrible um there's some sort of like weird background noise so mm -hmm. i decided to enlist his help to close out the vlog again because he provided some wise words and great commentary yeah but also fucking ding go out there grunting <laughs> you can let him in does smell because he did just go outside but it's not that bad give me your dinger just a boy <laughs> lay down <laughs>
Do you go cam? He's doing a lot of breathing. That's something we also do. I think in the, in the clip that we tried to film, we were mostly talking about how, how Hayden feels about the fact that he's gonna have to start editing my, my videos. We actually just dropped off the laptop yesterday to get serviced. Surprised at the uh, quick turnaround time that they Yeah, I think estimated. it's supposed to be here in like a couple of days, which is pretty In like nice. two or three days from now. Which means I can put him to work. Poison you. I mean, like- No, I know. I'm just like, I'm interested to see how it goes, honestly, because mm -hmm. I, I still haven't tried editing by myself. Like, obviously I've- yeah. I've kind of sat with you. Yeah. I've done like a, a quick little internship. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know how I'm going to be at it. And I think he's going to be really good. And I think we were talking about it yesterday. I think he's going to have some like really great stuff to add. I think like once you learn how to do everything and it's like almost second nature, I think you're going to have some like fun stuff you add in. Second nature. I, it's not hard. Just you know, I think you can do it. I think Hayden can do anything. I believe in you. First time I'm hearing it. I also believe in your ability to read Throne of Glass, which you've been doing and I haven't. So. Yeah, I have. I've, I've been ready to film for <laughs> days now. Are you just live, laugh, loving Sarah Janet? You already know. He's no, it's it's really not that bad. I just like... I think it'll be interesting too because this will be the first DBBC that Hayden edits. Period. Oh. But also just like he gets to actually see what it's like to edit, edit himself because I'm not going to lie. He's more challenging to edit. I don't think that should come as a surprise seeing as he's not on camera all the time, mm -hmm. but he's more challenging to edit than I am. For a couple of reasons but I don't want to put him on blast, so I won't. Oh, well, no, go ahead. Put me on blast. <laughs> like, go ahead. Tell me tell me the what I have to look forward to. Uh, okay, so the two things that kind of get to me are the the speech patterns, like the ums and likes. I do it too, but you do it to a much greater degree, especially mm -hmm. with the likes. And then and this is just something in his normal speech patterns. <laughs> he really likes to over explain or like he'll make a point and I get the point and then he keeps going. And so I have to cut a lot of that out because- Oh, you think I'm annoying. gonna cut that out? I mean, I do that, that for me too. No, I'm saying you think I'm gonna cut that out? You probably won't and I'll have to go back and do it, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe over time, I mean, here's the thing, I have developed that for myself too. Like I know in videos I tend to over explain. So I do try to go in and like edit that stuff out cause- Yeah, but see, know. I'm not over explaining. I'm- You're explaining the appropriate amount, is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, oh, everything, okay. yeah. Everything that I explain is to an appropriate degree. Yeah. Mm, okay, I will see about that. We'll see about that, Mr. I Mr. already Editing know there. about that because I say the words. Oh, so. okay, yeah. His brain is perfectly formulated to get the right things out mm -hmm. at the right time. Mm -hmm. Stomach's starting to hurt. Uh, I think I'm hungry. <laughs> have I read any more books? Yes, but not for this video. So I don't have much to say. I haven't finished Divine Rivals yet. Everything's going wrong. My stomach's hurting, my, my throat's hurting. I think maybe that's my sign that it's time to go. My throat's not hurting, but I did like have a little <coughs> <coughs> moment <laughs> earlier. I like kind of felt like I couldn't breathe. So yeah. that was fun. That'll be really fun for Pilates in like 30 minutes. So mm -hmm. everybody's got some good stuff to look forward to. Actually, I think Hayden's probably going to edit this. Actually, no, I'm editing this. What am I talking about? He's gonna edit the next one. So put it in the description box, you can t you can see Hayden's hard work and skill. I'm not gonna edit that out. Well, I guess you're editing this one. On that note, thanks y'all so much for watching. Love y'all so much. Also, I did want to just say thank you so much for supporting my channel and for buying merch. I was really excited to like show you behind the scenes this week, but merch launched last week and I've been overwhelmed with y'all's response, both in like the sheer volume of people buying, but also the comments y'all have been leaving in the checkout, which has been really sweet. I've read all of those um, and just, I just love y'all. I just really love y'all. I released mm -hmm. my merch at the, not the, at the same time, but like very close to my fifth anniversary on YouTube. When things are shitty, like this year has been, it is really cool to know that I have people who have my back and who uh, like the same stuff I do, books and other stuff. I don't know. Thanks for watching. I love y'all so much. Yeah, because otherwise she's just alone with me. And then where would I be? <laughs> love y'all so much. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time.